The Norse mythology is a vast and rich tapestry of gods, goddesses, and creatures that have captivated and intrigued people for centuries. Among these figures, the goddess Freya stands out as one of the most beloved and revered deities in the pantheon. In this article, we will explore the many facets of Freya's character and examine why she is considered the greatest goddess of Norse mythology. Origins and Early History The origins of Freya can be traced back to the Proto-Germanic period, when the ancient Germanic tribes first began to develop their religious traditions. The goddess was likely originally associated with fertility and agriculture, as her name means, lady, or mistress, in Old Norse, and was used as a title for a woman who had authority over a household or community. As the Germanic tribes migrated and expanded throughout Europe, Freya's cult evolved and adapted to the changing cultural landscape. She was gradually transformed into a goddess of love and beauty, associated with the concepts of sensuality and desire. In the Viking Age, Freya was considered one of the most important and influential deities in Norse mythology, and was worshipped throughout the Nordic world. Freya's Family and Relationships In Norse mythology, Freya was the daughter of Njord, the god of the sea, and the sister of Freyr, the god of fertility. She was also married to the god Odr, who was associated with poetry and wisdom. According to some versions of the myth, Odd left Freya and never returned, causing her great grief and sorrow. Freya was also known for her many lovers and romantic exploits. She was said to have had affairs with numerous gods and mortals, including her brother Freyr, the god Thor, and the giant Hrungnir. Freya's role as a goddess of love and beauty one of the most important aspects of Freya's character was her role as a goddess of love and beauty. She was often depicted as a stunningly beautiful woman, with long golden hair and piercing blue eyes. Her beauty was said to be so legendary that even the gods themselves could not resist her charms. As a goddess of love, Freya was associated with the concepts of desire, sensuality, and fertility. She was often invoked by lovers seeking to attract the object of their affections, and was said to have the power to make even the most stubborn hearts succumb to love. Her connection to fertility also made her an important figure in the Norse agricultural tradition, as she was believed to have the power to ensure bountiful harvests and healthy livestock. Freya's role as a goddess of war and death Freya was also a powerful figure in the Norse tradition of warfare. She was said to have led the Valkyries, the female warriors who chose the fallen warriors to be taken to Valhalla, the Hall of the Slain. In this role, she was seen as a fierce and powerful warrior goddess, who was both feared and revered. She was said to have the power to choose which souls would be taken to Valhalla, and which would be taken to the underworld of Hell. Her role as a guide to the afterlife made her a powerful and important figure in Norse mythology and her wisdom and guidance were sought out by those who were facing the end of their lives. Freya's Character Freya was known for her stunning beauty and her possession of the necklace Brisingamen, which was said to have been forged by dwarves. Her beauty was so legendary that even the gods themselves could not resist her charm. She was often depicted wearing a cloak of feathers and riding a chariot pulled by two cats. Freya was also a powerful practitioner of magic, and was said to have taught the art of Cedar, a form of Norse magic, to Odin himself. This made her one of the most important and influential figures in the Norse magical tradition. She was often depicted as a nurturing figure, who provided comfort and care to those in need. Freya's Compassion Despite her many roles and attributes, Freya was often seen as a figure of compassion and empathy. Her compassion and empathy made her a beloved figure in the Norse pantheon, and endeared her to those who looked to her for support and guidance. Whilst Freya is remembered today as the Norse goddess of love it is evident that she was far more complex. The fact that she features in so many of the surviving Norse myths demonstrates her prevalence within early Norse religion.